Well, we've been doing this commercially uh, successfully since around 2012, so it's been around now. When I worked overseas, I saw it closer that you can reach more and become more effective when you have an application and license and knowledge about disabled diving. So I started to become a disabled scuba diving instructor. We had this boy who came every year with his family and somehow figured out he was slightly autistic. And just to see him go through the motions of uh, you know, being in a crowd and being uncomfortable, uh, I thought there must be like another way to uh, go about this. You have to be realistic. You shouldn't dive because it's just available. You should dive because you're into this world, you're into the water and you want to be part of it. Then you should say, yes, this is for me. So it doesn't mean every scuba diving activity is for every disabled person. Mm, it takes a lot of effort uh, from your part and also from all the other people involved, but most importantly, um, it can trigger all sorts of reactions. You will, you know, there will be barriers. So it's not for everybody. But When you enroll in, a, in an adaptive program, you should definitely expect it's a lot of hard work. There may be things you will be highly uncomfortable with, but you have to find a way to deal with this. In a lot of cases, it will be intense, but in the end, it will be amazing. You will be out from your own world, from your own environment. You have travel opportunities. You will experience zero gravity. You will move, swim and fly. So that's the main goal, actually. It's more what you feel and what you are becoming. The biggest difference in recreational scuba diving and adaptive scuba diving is actually part where we reach the water with the disabled person. In the water, we almost equal with the recreational non-disabled person. Definitely the logistics and uh, the time frame in which it is conducted. Of course, will last for about five days. It could be that you cannot finish all you have to do in five days, that your program will take longer. Maybe it will take a week, maybe it will take a month. So in the end, yes, everybody is successful. It's just how long it takes to get there, this differs for everybody because not everybody is the same. This has become sort of like a popular thing. There's a, there's a few big organizations who really specialize in uh, adaptive uh, techniques, educate uh, adaptive instructors and assistants. Uh, and then there's a, a bunch on the side who do it sort of as like a specialty. There's a certification and if you just join to an orientation program, you become a disabled scuba diving instructor. But this doesn't mean you can dive every disabled person. Many regular instructors and divers do diving with disabled people as a charity. You, as a disabled diver, need to understand this is an education and you need the specialist to train you. Even when it's a spinal cord injury, they are all different from each other and they have all different handicaps in the water. You should ask yourself maybe not the question, are there uh, adaptive instructors and assistants? You should ask yourself the question, how qualified are they? What is their track record? How long have they been doing this? How many dives with various disabilities have they done? Do I even like this person? The relationship will be personal uh, and everybody needs to be like 100,000% motivated. How I said in the beginning, there are enough and lots of instructors and dive centers, but you have to find the right experienced one who can give you the right education and take care of you. Uh, well, of course you can find uh, our information online. This is either through our combined websites or uh, separate Facebook pages. Uh, you can also find uh, our personal information through the AIHD. This is the International Association of Handicapped Divers uh, website. If you click there on 
uh, dive centers or instructors, uh, you will find a whole list. Otherwise, we are active uh, all along the Aegean coast of Turkey. We are active uh, on the Greek islands of Kos, Rhodos, and of course uh, in Holland you can find us. So come quick for us! <laughs>